President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to join you here today for this first ever Arctic Circle Assembly. Let me start by thanking President Olavur Ragnar Grimsson for his vision and determination in bringing so many people together to create this new and exciting international forum. It is a great privilege for me on behalf of the government and the people of the Faroe Islands to speak to such a distinguished gathering of people from such a broad range of backgrounds and interests. Of course, what brings us all together here in Reykjavik is the new and growing focus on the Arctic as a region of present and future development. For the Faroe Islands, it is natural for us to be a part of such a forum in our own region, together with our closest West Nordic neighbors, Iceland and Greenland, as well as other partners from around the high north. As Arctic nations, we all share very similar challenges and opportunities in the face of rapid climate change, both on environmental, political, and economic and social levels. Like Iceland and Greenland, the Faroe Islands give top priority to regional cooperation in the Arctic and across the North Atlantic as the best way to address common challenges and develop the possibilities ahead. We don't have permanent ice cover in the Faroe Islands. And polar bears only manage to get as far as Iceland from time to time. But fortunately, the Arctic is defined in much broader terms today. The point of departure for dialogue and cooperation on future development in our region is and must be the nations and peoples who live here, with our strong and viable cultures and societies all around the circumpolar north. As one of these nations and peoples, the Faroe Islands enjoy very closely collaboration in many areas with our Arctic neighbors. We want to make our contribution to strengthening the existing intergovernmental framework for cooperation in the Arctic. The Arctic Council, where we participate actively in a joint delegation with Greenland and Denmark. But I also believe there is great potential to develop active dialogue and cooperation on many other levels and between a broader variety of stakeholders. I particular, I believe we should have a strong focus on the promotion of international business to business and innovation partnerships across the region. These are already the true drivers of economic growth and development and will continue to be. We should therefore also support and encourage a strong interface between research and industry. And this is something I believe this new Article Circle Assembly can help to strengthen and support. Our job as governments is to create a clear and effective framework of regulation, both national and international, that ensures the right balance between the biological limits of nature, our right and duties to use our natural resources sustainable, and the need to create wealth and economic development. Getting this balance right will make us all much better prepared to cope with sudden and even dramatic changes. In the Faroe Islands, we see great strategic potential in our own location in the region, especially in relation to the northern sea route, which is expected to have the greatest significance in the future. 
We have promising prospect for future offshore oil production in the Faroese area. We have a strong framework for present and future activities with high environmental and safety standards at the forefront. And we take an active part in international contingency planning and search and rescue cooperation. As a coastal nation, the Faroe Islands have a major responsibility to safeguard the seas and oceans around us and to develop the huge potential as a source of food, energy, and transport in a sustainable way. Climate change can have consequences for the very basis of our society. Changes in sea temperatures affect the marine ecosystems and ocean currents, and subsequently also our marine resources. We are already seeing these changes in the distribution patterns of major commercial fish stocks, such as the North Atlantic mackerel and Atlantoscandian herring. As a result, we are also facing new challenges in international cooperation, and we must be willing to recognize new biological realities in our region and map them together properly, based on the best available science. And we must find new ways to adapt the joint management of shared resources. This will not be achieved by ignoring what's going on in the ecosystem, insisting on sticking to outdated management arrangements. And it will certainly not be helped by forcing one's views through economic sanctions, as we have seen the EU do, both in relation to trade in sealed products and the management of the Atlanto Scandian herring. This is not the way we cooperate in the North. I believe the Arctic nation, nations can and should lead the way in showing how issues related to the management of natural resources can best be resolved in peaceful and mutually respectful ways. After all, the resources we are talking about are largely in our own region. Given these new realities and rapid changes in the Arctic, my government recently commissioned commissioned a strategic as assessment to provide a deeper and broader understanding of the challenges and potential of the Faroe Islands in the years to come. The conclusion and recommendations of this assessment will be discussed in a general debate in the Faroe's Parliament during its present session. May I also take this chance to advertise the English summary of the assessment. We have copies always uh, available here at the assembly for anyone who is interested. President, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to Arctic, the other word used to describe this new assembly is circle. The Arctic circle, of course, we are not talking about the circle of latitude around the earth at 66 degrees north of the equator, the line above, which there is midnight sun for at least one day of the year. The Faroe Islands are not inside that circle, and in fact, it does not include many of the other key players who forms a part of today's Arctic cooperation. No. The Arctic circle we are talking about here today is one that embraces rather than excludes. We share important fundamental values as people living in the North heavily dependent on nature and its resources. This is what defines us. Not the northern tree line or the highest average summer temperature. It is up to us to define the terms and set the course for our own future sustainable development in the region in close cooperation with our international partner, partners. I am pleased to be a part of a process that is helping to make the bonds of friendship and understanding between our nations and people in the circumpolar north much stronger, no matter our size. But equally important is also our desire to strengthen bond 
bonds and cooperations with others from outside our region who understand our concerns and share our interests. Mr. President, the vision of an Arctic Circle that you have taken the initiative to launch here today makes me think of one of our own unique cultural traditions in the Faroe Islands, one that is still very much alive today. I am, of course, referring to the famous traditional Faroe's ring dance or chain dance. For those who are not familiar with it, let me explain. It usually starts as a small, tight circle of people who join arms and hands and begin to recite an ancient ballad together. The circle moves around with the simple rhythm of their feet in pace with the verses of the ballad. Two steps to the left and one to the right. As more people enter the circle and anyone is free to join in or leave at any time, it starts to wind and bend in and out. It is no longer a perfect circle, but a meandering and dynamic chain filling up the entire room with sound and movement. Mr. President, I do think our fairy dance provides us with a good symbol of what we want to achieve in the Arctic cooperation, based on shared values and the knowledge of a shared narrative in a circle that is not a perfect line, but which bends and adapts to make room for anyone who wants to learn the story and help to tell it. Thank you.